Number 52, during heavy exercise, the body pumps two liters of blood per minute to the surface where it is cooled by two degrees Celsius. What is the rate of heat transfer from this forced convection alone, assuming blood has the same specific heat as water and the density is uh, 1,050 kilogram per cubic meter? All right. So basically, they're asking us for the rate of heat transfer. All right. Now, they don't know. They don't, you know, rate of heat transfer. Do they want that? in Q, you know, in joules per second? Do they want that in or joules per minute? I don't know. I mean, they give me per minutes here, so I'll probably just solve it per minute, and then you can convert it to second, you know, per joules per second if you want, and that would then be the answer in watts, but, you know, they're all the same, right? Would you rather a hundred cents or a dollar? <laughs> Shouldn't matter, uh, except you might say, well, I really don't want to deal with the hundred cents because that's just the pain in the neck. And uh, there is a difference there. But I mean, in terms of value, there is absolutely no difference. Um, so, okay. That out of the way, let's calculate the heat transfer. First, let's find the first, we know heat transfer when we're talking about changes in temperature. Uh, we're not talking about con uh, we're not talking about conduction, which would have been this formula. We're talking about convection. So we have to use the Q equals MC delta T. All right. And basically, uh, we can, we plug in what we need uh we plug in what we know. So we do not know the mass, but they gave us the density and the volume. So you know that mass is equal to density, right? This is simple. Density times volume. So for the mass here in the formula, I'm just going to plug in density times volume. Specific heat is they gave it to us, and then the change in temperature they told us was 2 degrees Celsius. So we can simply just plug it all in. The density is 1050. The volume was 2 liters now be careful, this volume here is going to be cubic meters in terms of the density, so let's convert this into cubic meters. All you got to do is take the 2 and then divide it by 1,000, okay? And then multiply, uh, yep, that's great, so that takes care of that first term, and then multiply by the specific heat. They told us it's that of water, so 4184, it's liquid, and then the change in temperature was 2 degrees, so voila. Let's just calculate. It's straightforward, 1050 multiplied by 2 divided by 1,000. Then multiply by 4184 times 2. And here we get a value of about 1 point, oops, 1.76 or so if you want to do three sig figs. I don't know how many. I don't really, nobody cares about sig figs, right? 1.76 times 10 to the, I don't know, what do we got? Fourth. All right, that's joules. Now remember, I used the volume of blood per minute. So this is basically then the amount of energy per minute, right? So essentially, my the rate of heat transfer would be 1.76 times 10 to the fourth joules per minute. If you need that in watts, which is joules per second, just take this value and multiply it by one minute over 60 seconds. Right. And there you go. You'd have the answer. All right. I'm just going to leave it here for now. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.